Well, much like the great Billy Joel once said, I'm moving out. So, I'm leaving my nice little mountain home uh, in East Tennessee, heading to Middle Tennessee for an internship tomorrow, and I've uh, started loading up my truck uh, and getting ready for uh, my voyage. I'll have like a 45 minute commute to work every day while I'm out there, so uh, in order to save a little bit of money on gas, I'm also bringing along, bringing along uh, my old Dodge Dart. Uh, it's slightly better gas mileage uh, than this old girl, uh, considering this has a 350 small block and the Dart only has a little 2.4 liter four cylinder. Well, anyway, I've made several modifications to the truck, including changing out both the tail lights. Uh, I've changed out all the lights on the truck, actually. I replaced them all with Enzo USA lights, which I've heard a lot of complaints about. Uh, we'll see how they hold up and uh, stand the test of time. A lot of people say they fog up pretty easy, but I haven't had any issues so far, and as you can see, they're pretty darn clear. Uh, replaced the headlights as well as the parking lights. Uh, did not replace the reflectors uh, just because those don't look so bad, and they were like $35. Uh, I've also put a new knock sensor in the truck like I talked about in the last video. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, it's just kind of in a weird spot. I ended up not having to pull the starter, but I did have to use a uh, universal joint with my 3 8 inch drive uh, socket. And uh, the knock sensor itself uh, ha uses a uh, uh, 7 8 inch uh, nut to hold it on. Uh, I got my Husky toolbox filled with uh, a bunch of tools. I carry around a 200 piece Craftsman mechanics tool set. Uh, and I've got uh, five gallons of coolant in there, which is a little overkill, but I uh, can never have too much, I guess. Uh, I've also got uh, a set of jumper cables, uh, a few spare parts, you know, odds and ends, that kind of thing. Uh, the only issue I'm having with the truck right now is it occasionally throws a code for a uh, EGR valve. Not too concerned about that, just because it's relatively non-critical. Uh, as you can see, uh, we can't really see because the window is a little messy but i cleaned her up pretty good vacuumed it out i've got a few few things put in there already um but i'll make some more videos on the road and uh once i get to my destination well ladies and gentlemen it's about high time uh for me to depart got everything loaded up got stuff in the back of this truck some stuff in my parents car since they're going with me uh you can see my setup i've still got my radar detector in here as well as a phone mount so I can use my GPS while driving. My radio kind of sucks and I can't plug my phone into it, so I'm just gonna leave it off. I uh, got my sunglasses in this giant gaping hole in my dashboard, cup holder set up, a couple pairs of boots, tennis shoes. Um, it's gonna get pretty hot in here today. Uh, it's over 90 degrees in Tennessee right now, so, uh, and I don't have AC, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I would like to vlog while driving, but I don't necessarily know uh, what the likelihood of that is. Uh, I've got a 155-mile trip. should take me about three hours, taking a bunch of back roads, uh, which I prefer. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Look forward to it. Uh, just got to hope the truck survives. Um, but I have very, very little doubt that it will. Uh, so that's that, and I'll get back to you guys later once I'm on the road. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm nearing the halfway mark on my trip to Pulaski. Uh, we've been doing a whole lot of mountain driving. I'm still in the mountains, but at a lower elevation now. Uh, I've got my window open, so excuse any wind noise, because uh, like I said earlier, I don't have air conditioning. Uh, the truck's handling the trip pretty well. I don't really have any complaints. Uh, at one point, we were going straight up, almost straight uphill though. Uh, I was a little worried about my temperature gauge, uh, but it read normal the whole way. Uh, check engine lights on. Our, I know what that is. It's for the EGR valve. Uh, like I said earlier, I don't really think that's that critical of a component. Uh, so I'm not really worried. Uh, truck's been driving well, had no problems even on those curvy roads. Uh, despite how top heavy and slow I am, uh, I've been able to get up to a decent speed several times. 
uh, so the trip's going well. I uh, have about another hour and a half left, uh, and I'll update you guys when I get there, but things are going good. Well, I survived my trip without issue. Got both my vehicles out here. Uh, the place I'm staying at's pretty secluded, um, but I'm really digging it so far. Started getting settled in. Um, really excited about what's to come. Uh, this is the last part of my of this video. Uh, I just wanted to show uh, how beautiful uh, my two vehicles look next to one another, and to uh, show everyone this beautiful scenery and absolutely gorgeous skyline. But uh, yep, that concludes this video.